welcome to my channel and i'm here with you once again with another video of microsoft flight simulator uh, today i will be doing a short video uh, i will not be covering a flight from one destination to another rather i will be going through the starter procedures uh, for the airbus a320 neo which is the default plane in microsoft flight simulator so if you have purchased the simulator uh, this plane comes with the simulator um, and i think it's also available on xbox and uh, definitely it's available on pc because i'm doing this video on the pc uh, just re remember one thing before I continue with this video, that if you are a beginner to the Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator, uh, if you want to start your plane from the cold and dark state, remember to start your flight from a gate. Because if you are starting your flight uh, from a runway, uh, the plane will already be up and running and all the systems will be up and running. So just remember this. I was just trying to zoom into the airport, uh, but uh, <laughs> I just uh, zoomed into the landmark. Okay, so this is the Islamabad Airport, the, the new Islamabad International Airport, OPIS. And uh, I will be uh, just starting off from any of the gates over here on this airport uh, using the default Airbus A320 new, which is uh, there in the simulator. So you don't have, you don't have to uh, do anything for that. Uh, so I'm going to start my flight uh, from here, uh, set as departure. And uh, let's go and uh, see how to start up the plane uh, using the default checklist but you don't have to do anything that's the amazing and the best part okay so here we are uh, inside the plane and you can see the plane is in the cold and dark state all the displays are off and um, if you are uh, like at some some level of expertise in the flight simulation you know how to uh, turn on the Airbus A320 on. For me initially when I started it, it was kind of difficult for me to understand. So that's why I was telling you that if you are at a beginner's level and you still want to start your plane from a gate and you want to continue with your flight, I think this uh, tool will help you out. So first of all, uh, press the escape key and go to the assistance options. And uh, you can see in the assistance options uh, for piloting, although I use uh, true to life settings and in the navigation aids, I'm only using the taxi ribbons because uh, uh, before the takeoff and after the landing, I really need some help for the taxi uh, from um, the gates to the runway and then after landing from the runway to the gates. So that's why I just keep this option on. Otherwise, all of the options are true to life. Uh, and in the piloting, if you come, uh, you can see the assisted checklist. You can turn it off. If uh, it's off, you have to uh, start it either uh, following the checklist or you have to do it yourself. Or if you know everything by heart and you know your checklist by heart, it's easy. Uh, but anyhow, uh, if you turn this option on, uh, you will uh, hit the magic pot. <laughs> this is a very interesting feature. So for this uh, tutorial, I'm going to uh, check this assisted checklist on and I am going to save the settings and then I'm going to go back. Okay, so let's resume uh, the simulator and uh, let's go up here and here's the checklist. So these are the three pages for the checklist. One is uh, before starting the engine, another one is after or like starting the engines and the third one is after starting the engines. So you always start with before starting the engines. So this is the checklist that you have to actually go through. So if you're new to the flight simulator, all you have to do is simply click this option because this is the first option that you have to do. And um, it goes in a sequence from first to the last one. And if you don't know where the battery switches are, you can simply click this option and uh, here you go. But anyhow, if you have any confusions or if you are not really clear about it, what you can do is this, you can, uh, as you have turned on uh, the assisted checklist option on, you can simply go for auto complete the page. And see, the magic has happened. <laughs> so the plane has automatically turned itself on <laughs> using the uh, checklist option, the assisted checklist option that we turned on in the assistance um, option. And you can see the, all the systems are now up and running. Right now, uh, there is this APU uh, start option. Uh, it's, uh, it's in the waiting process because uh, the system is uh, waiting for the available to, uh, to show over here. 
So once you uh, start the plane, you start the plane on the batteries, then you switch uh, to the external power just to give you an idea. And then uh, before turning on the engines of the plane, you have to turn on the APU. So you press this button and then you wa wait for the available sign to come up over here on this button, avail. So once it's, uh, uh, it's like green, it shows avail, you have to turn on the APU bleed, it's over here. So you can see that everything was done, not a rocket science, it was so easy. Now you can start the engines and uh, for, the, for this option again, auto complete the page and you can see uh, the engine mode selector was already uh, set to the uh, start and ignition mode and plus both the engines are on and uh, you can see over here the engines are up and running. Now you can see it on your screens that engines confirmed, confirmed stabilized. So you have to wait for the engines to stabilize over here. So the N1 has to stabilize. Let's go out and uh, let's see because it takes some uh, time uh, for the engines to start so you have to wait for that okay nice uh, sunny morning in Asabad. beautiful winter sunny morning mm. here are the pilots okay so now the engines are up and running you can just uh, get back into the cockpit and uh, just get to the checklist and see engines Confirm stabilized. I think yes, now the engines are stable. A lot of fuel to carry. Fuel on board is 10,627. I can go a long distance with that. Okay, so uh, we can check again. Otherwise, uh, yes, now it's done. So now the engines are stable and after starting the engines you have to turn off the APU bleed. After uh, the APU bleed is off you have to turn off the APU master switch and then engine mode selected to normal. Let's auto complete the page and all done. Now you will see the APU bleed is off. Okay, APU master switch is on. Oops. And uh, plus the engine mode selector is uh, uh, now from ignition, it has been set to normal. And that's it. Your plane is up and running and now you're ready for a flight. You can uh, take this plane for a flight and, uh, and that's it. So it's a very simple procedure. So if you are a beginner, I think this will really help you out. If you really don't know the, where the controls are or it's taking you some long time to uh, start up the plane. So I think you can go through these procedures and uh, you can follow it. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much for staying with me. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel because I keep on making different videos for Microsoft Flight Simulator and plus Explain 11. So you'll keep on getting updates from my side. And plus, if you've got any questions or any suggestions, do type it in the comment section. Thank you very much for staying with me. Hope to see you soon.